As I said before, I like to work in series and today's video is the fourth on how to work in series. Today is about collaging. There is a thousand ways you can attack the subject on doing collages, but um, not to make it more difficult than it is, I like to set some rules guidelines or prompts for myself that way you know what to do and you can get started i want to make four collages in this series and i have some heavy watercolor paper here i have cut up in 20 20 by 10 centimeters Um, that's the first thing I have decided. The second thing I have decided is I want to use a specific color scheme. And I think it is, I picked a lot of papers from my stack and I have chosen these ones. Also, I want to use some book pages from old books. And I want to use some gold paper of some sort and uh, perhaps a little belly paper with some small marks and that is that I think. I want to use only five different papers and all the five prints has to be represented in each of the four collages. Fourth, I want to use four different papers in this color scheme here. And also I want to have some kind of contrast. And for that, I have picked some browns here to choose between. Five, uh, selecting what papers I want to use, I will look upon them and find some papers with small patterns or some with bigger patterns or in different uh, kind of shades. Um, yeah. And perhaps as a final touch, I will add an, a focal point, but at that point, we are on now, I, I don't know, but we will see. With all that being said, I will take the liberty to change or choose two other papers if I don't like the color scheme or the composition don't feel right to me. That's quite okay because your rules, your collages. So let us begin. I ended up choosing those five papers here and as a contrast this paper and then I have a neutral paper, uh, a kind of mulberry paper I think and that would be the papers I will begin with. You can uh, both tear or cut your papers, I like to tear them. I like the edges it gives, these torn edges, so now I will just start to play and see what comes to me. This is not the way it will end. Perhaps it will look different from this, but right now I'm just moving the pieces around and see what will happen.
this paper here. Uh, let us see, let us see. <clears throat> yeah. And the last paper. I think this, so this was the four papers that I chose and I think I will start to glue them down and perhaps incorporate um, a little text or some other small bits, but that would be the base layer. So I will glue this down here and I think I would start to do to glue this one down first. Okay. Of course you can use any glue you, you want to. You don't have to use a glue stick, but as for the Prime time in this video, it is easier to use glue stick, but a uh, matte medium is also a nice thing to use. different kind of papers. This is a jelly paper that is ordinary copy paper. 
and this is uh, colored copy paper with uh, coffee stains. So there are so many ways you can make papers for your collages. This has a straight edge here, and sometimes it is nice if all the other edges are uh, torn, so it's nice with a straight edge. Often it is the uh, Choose things that are opposite. If you have straight edges, then have torn edges. If you have a dark color, take a light color. If you have things with small patterns, beside that, take a thing with big patterns, and so on. That gives the piece most interest. <laughs> This was the way I will cut it down and embellish it. I think this stripe will look good there. Oopsie. So I'll put it here. And I think I will, I missed to put some brown things in, and I also have the brown paper I choose, and some gold in, and I think I want to do a square down here, and perhaps, yeah, maybe there instead, and a gold piece on it. That's real playtime. I think it would be like this, and this would be the fo focal point. I think, yeah. I will glue the three others, and I'll be back. Yeah, <clears throat> they are all four glued out, glued down uh, with the base layer. I glued the strip of from the old book in here because I know I wanted it there, but these two needs some book text too so I think this one will go down here just to there and this one Right now, I think they are a little muted or a little too pale for my taste, so I think it will help when this brown thing, this brown paper, comes on the other tree. So I will concentrate on that. To see what we can do.
I like um, this when they overlap each other and I think that would look nice there. And what can we do now? What can we do? Overlap this one, but not the whole way over. So there, and yeah, I think this is good. No, I was three hearts. Sorry. This one has some white borders, but I think I will paint them black perhaps afterwards. So I'll just glue, glue it down. And see, sometimes you're lucky. This little tip here fits into this little valley here, and that's totally by coincidence, but I like when this, this happens. Yeah. I've been fiddling around with the gold, and I think I like them to be like this. So. This was a tough one to do, get glue down, but now it's there. Uh, I like to work on this 425 GSM watercolor because it's don't it don't buckles and it lies flat. So now I have all the gold on, and then I have this uh, daily paper with uh, some small crosses on, and I think. I have some bits and bobs here. I think it would look nice. Perhaps there. No, I'm just thinking this. And I have a square. There. I like to uh, glue um, both tissue paper and oh, I have a little gold thing up here. I left that one. Perhaps that would look good up there. Yeah, we'll see. Um, but I like to um, glue them the piece or uh, the deli paper with a um, matte medium. Because it gets translucent and you hopefully don't will see the paper, but only the crosses. 
but we will try. Let's see how this works. I both uh, put the matte medium to glue it, but I also put it on the top of the paper. I will let them dry and uh, we will have a look to see if I want to do anything else or more to the pieces. They are almost dry now and I'm satisfied. I think that perhaps they are a little overloaded but it's okay. And the only paper I didn't use was this one and that's okay too. I think I use some black marks and that you can use several things i have a stabilo all and a derwent sketching and a st this is a stabilo stabilo woody and they all are water soluble but i like the stabilo because uh, the, the, it is really black. So I will choose some few places where I would make some lines to make it darker. And I, when I think of this one, I think it needs a little dark thing up here. So I... Perhaps I can do that here. Yeah. And then I have a, one of those water brushes and I will just carefully put it down, some water down to solve it. And I think I also want a black stripe here, a black line here. So <clears throat> just a small one. And that's that. If I look at this one, I think I want a black line here. Often I like the black lines where I torn the <coughs> sorry, where I torn the paper and there's a white side of the paper to see, and that's not always what I like. Sometimes I do, but here I don't like the white. So there, this one. And perhaps it would look nice if I, yeah, we can put it out there too. Do the same with the gold up here. If you don't like it, you uh, can take a baby wipe after you put water on it and clean it off. But so this one and this one, I think I need one here. And you can 
you see, because I have printed this on black paper, there is a black stripe up here, that continues down here. So I think I will make that black there. It gives a little more contrast. And it is ever so slightly I touch it. Um, I think that is set. And here is the last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I will make a black line here. Yeah. And perhaps also there. Maybe already there. A little hole here. I'll put some black in it too. And the same down here. So, yeah. That was one way of rigging in series. So here they are, all four of, the, four of them. And you can see the matte medium has dissolved the paper, not dissolved, but made the paper translucent. So you can't see anything but the small courses. Maybe you notice that uh, I like to work in the grid way, that way or that way, I seldom do this way, but I try to do it in different with different di directions on the four. Also, I like to have this piece here is going to the edge. This one is a square in the middle, and this is a stripe, was also from the side, and this is a long tall piece placed in the middle and. The text goes this way and the text goes that way and the text goes this way and so I always try to do opposite things like I said earlier. But, uh, yeah, here they are. I hope you found this useful, useful and uh, you will try to do some similar things and uh, you will succeed with it. So bye for now.